Okay. And take a moment to find a comfortable seat. Wriggle your buttocks flesh away and snuggle down. Inhale, roll your shoulders up, back and down and relax them. Turn your palms up on your knees. Close your eyes. I read a beautiful quote this morning, which I didn't pull up, but the essence of it was that what makes asana practice different from other forms of exercise is that by slowing things down and paying attention to what we're doing, we create an opportunity for deeper knowing, deeper connection to our inner nature. I'm offering that as an intention for today's class. You're welcome to use that if you like. Slowing down to connect to deeper knowing and in our inner nature. As you contemplate this intention, allow your breath to slow and deepen. And if you like, you can do that five count breath. Inhaling for five. And exhaling for five. And a five to six second count breath aligns you with the vibration of the earth and synchronizes the functioning of your bodily organs. So simple pranayama this morning. Five count breath. Welcome to come back into the room. And we'll do some warm ups starting with the head and neck. Let's rotate the head. And look the other way. Moving slowly mindfully it's a fact that the slower you go the more benefit you get just using an analogy how effective we are when we rush versus how effective we are when we take our time to do something Let's come back to center, bring the chin to the chest and draw a little wave shape on your chest. Let's 
So you might hear some creaking and cracking in the back of your nut. And I have to remind myself to slow down. I'm a New Yorker by birth and speed is just part of my makeup. So I'll be reminding myself and inviting you as well to slow your movements down today. And come back to center. Stretch up tall and bring ear to one side. Come back up and bring ear the other way. Inhale up, bring your ear to your shoulder, take your other hand and push the wall away. Keep the shoulders relaxed and down, the chest lifted as we practiced in our posture class. And if this is too much, you can keep your hand on your leg. And back to center. From the ear to the shoulder, press the wall away. Shoulders relaxed and down. Keep extending through the heel of your hand. And back to center. Do the first side again. You're going to add to this, bringing your opposite hand up and over and touch your ear and push the wall away. Shoulders relaxed, chest lifted. Come back to center. Inhale, tall, ear to shoulder. Bring your opposite arm up and over, touch your top ear, press the wall away. Shoulders down, chest lifted. And release. Do some shoulder circles. Notice the breath. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you come down. And circle back the other way. And down. Inhale the arms out, squeeze the shoulder blades, broaden the chest, expand the heart, and bring those arms in and give yourself a hug. Tuck your chin, broaden the back body. On an inhale, open, reach the arms back with those shoulder blades. Feel the squeeze between them. And gather all that love in. You deserve it. Up the chin. Deep breath into the back body. The Buddha said, you above all people deserve your love. And bring the arms in. Changing arms. Which one's on top? 
slow, full breath in and out. Big, broad stretch. And I've lost count which side was first. <laughs> and two, one more. And uh, let's bring the hands to the floor behind us and place our knees nice and wide, feet flat on the floor. We'll rotate the knees, opening up the hip joints. And we're stretching the inside and the outside of our thighs, opening up our groins. Increasing the blood flow between our torso and our legs. Let's turn this into a spinal twist. So with the knees pointed to the right, inhale tall, exhale, walk yourself around, lift your hip, look over your shoulder. Inhale back, bend an arm, swing that arm around, and inhale, big broad chest, big stretch. Inhale, swing around, rub your shoulder, and exhale back. Nice spinal twist with a little shoulder work as well. And back to center. Let's bring the soles of the feet together, a little butterfly. Compare the two sides of your body. And bring the hands behind you, widen your legs and flip the knees over to the left. Inhale, twist around. Come back to center. If you don't need the support of both hands, then this arm comes out. Inhale, twist around. And open. Inhale, twist. Come back to butterfly. Flip the knees over and you can stay with that first variation, either both hands on the floor or one arm crossing, or we'll go into half moon. So you're gonna bring your hand behind your hip and swing this arm around, lift the hips, Continue circling until your chest is facing the ceiling. Lovely stretch through the front of your body, reach into the sky. And come on back up. Again, choose the level of challenge that's right for you. Either just the spinal twist on the floor or big lift. Bring that open arm back, turning your chest towards the sky. And now, and last one, inhaling. 
lifting up. And down. Back into butterfly. And switch the knees. Then you can just do the spinal twist here or with the arm or come into half moon. Moving that arm around, the hand is behind the hip, lifting the hips and bringing your chest towards the ceiling. And swing back down. Inhale and lift. Press the hips forward, roll the shoulder back. And back. Last one. Inhaling. Circle and lift. And back to center. And butterfly. Let's bring one foot in. We'll give it a little massage. Nice, flexible feet are important for good balance. And nice, broad feet also. Our feet tend to get constricted. <laughs> because we're wearing shoes all the time. We don't walk barefoot on the earth. So this is our opportunity to give our feet some much needed attention. And let's do that for a clap. And sweep. And flick that away. And we'll change feet. Give that for the massage. Remember to twist each toe and squeeze it like a tube of toothpaste. Stretch the foot wide. And give that foot a clap. Sweep. And flick that away. And let's come over onto our hands and knees. Starting in table, we're going to just do little circles to open up our wrists. It's also opening up our hips a little bit, but we're focusing on our hands at the moment. And 
in little tiny circles the other way. So the spine isn't involved here. We're not doing cat circles, at least not yet. We're just doing little tiny circles that are opening our knees, our hips, our wrists, and our shoulders. I haven't gotten to the spine yet. Okay, now let's bring that into some cat circles, adding the spine, the ribs, the whole torso. Nice and slow, feeling every muscle getting stretched and massaged and nourished. And let's go the other way. And back to center, let's press back into child. Inhale up. Let's walk around to one side. And walk around the other way. Moving slowly with mindfulness, taking a moment to get that extra bit of stretch. Maybe you haven't done that before. Maybe you've been moving too quickly. So here you can just stop, push into your outer hand and stretch your side body a little more. Push into the outer hand and stretch your side body and back to center. And let's go back into child once again, just surrender into the silence. Inhale back up, come to our spinal twist to reach up and send the arms through and choose what level of challenge you'd like today. Maybe you want to send one, long, one arm forward along the long side of your mat and the other foot down towards the, so we're moving towards the short end of our mat in both directions. They just want to hang out here today. Bring that leg in, bring the hand in. Inhale through, reach up. Take a breath here. Stretch. 
stretching up tall, press the heel of the hand away and bring that hand down. Open the other way, slide through. If you like stretching your arm towards the short end of your mat, stretching your foot to the short end of your mat. And bring that leg in, bring your hand in. Inhale, stretch up. Let's stay here for a breath. Press down to reach up. Press the heel of your hand away. And down. And widen the knees. Come into silence and child. Let's inhale into puppy dog, just sliding forward, bring the chin and chest to the floor. Lift the elbows, lift the tailbone. Feel the shoulder blades flattening on your back, broadening your chest. As we worked on in our posture class, And slide back into child. You can stay in child or puppy dog, or we'll come up into downward facing dog. So coming into table, walk your hands forward a little bit in front of your shoulders. Turn your tailbone up, slide your shoulder blades down, lift your chest. Remember the posture class, broadening the chest. Turn the toes over, lift the knees and press the chest back towards the thighs, deeply bent knees. And then begin to lift the hips, moving the legs towards straight. And we'll pedal one heel and then the other. But don't lose that curve in your body. The hips lifted, the chest curved, the shoulder blades flat on your back. Let's lift the heels and come back into table and back into child. One more time, choosing child, puppy dog, or downward facing dog. In down dog, the hands are a little in front of your shoulders. Come into our dog tilt, shoulder blades down the back, chest broad. Let's do that little exercise where we bend the elbows slightly to deepen the curve in the upper back. Turn the toes. Lift the knees and press back towards your deeply bent knees, feeling that lovely ski jump back and then stretching the legs towards straight. Maybe your heels hit the floor, maybe they don't. And slowly make your way to Uttanasana for whatever pose you're doing. Stretching over the legs. Mm -hmm. 
Bring the hands to the thighs. Stack one vertebra on top of the other. As you slowly roll up, pressing into your heels, coming into mountain pose. Bring the hands underneath the armpits and come into our farmer pose, broadening the chest. Sliding the shoulder blades down the back. Keeping that nice broad chest. Bring the arms out and up overhead and parallel. Squeeze the elbows towards your ears. Arms can stay parallel or come into steeple, whatever works for you. Taking a deep breath in and exhale, tip to one side. Bump the hips out just a little bit in the opposite direction. Keep lengthening by pressing down into the feet and moving the rib cage away from the hips. Inhale, tall. Inhale and stretch over the other way. Squeeze those elbows towards your ears, even if your arms are parallel, see what you can do. Without tensing your shoulders. Inhale, tall. And exhale down. We're going to come into eagle arms. We're not going to do a fancy eagle yet. So you can do a chair pose with your legs, okay? Don't have to do a balancing pose yet. Let's inhale up. We'll bring the left arm down. The right arm in. Cross elbows, lift the elbows a little bit, sit back in your chair a little bit more. So we're basically doing a chair with eagle arms, okay? And feel the shoulder blades slide down your back. Deep breaths as you squeeze the arms together and look through them. Inhale, reach up. Straighten the legs, interlace your fingers or arms parallel, counter stretch, we'll do a back arc, lifting the heart to the sky. And come back to center, bend your knees slightly, bring the opposite arm underneath. Coming into eagle arms on this side. So we're doing chair pose with eagle arms. Inhale up. Arms are either parallel or fingers are interlaced the weird way, so don't do the way you usually do. Deep breath in, bring the spine forward between your shoulder blades, pressing into your heart, squeezing your elbows towards each other. Inhale back to center. And back to Tadasana. Counter stretch. Let's bring the arms up. Give yourself a pat on the back and either pull that elbow back. Well, let's just start with pulling the elbow back. Again, we're being gentle with ourselves and working up. This is plenty interesting. Don't need to do any more than this. Inhale, reach. Give yourself a pat on the back. 
pull that elbow back. And again, for some people that's too challenging. You simply need to push your arm back instead. But by doing this easier variation, we really get to focus on the stretch right there under the arm. Inhale up and down. We're going to step out into a warrior two, starting with our five pointed star. and turn the toes to the right. But instead of keeping our arms in traditional Virabhadrasa pose, we're going to come into eagle arms, bringing the back arm underneath. So we'll keep the head facing forward, looking through the arms. The legs are in warrior two, arms are in eagle arms, hips and shoulders facing the wide side of your mat. Release, inhale up. Bring the hands behind you, either bringing your hands onto your sacrum, prayer position, or reverse namaste. So pointing your fingers up or down. And turn towards the front leg, lifting the chest. Be crossing elbows is another option. Exhale, straightening the leg and coming over, nose to knee. You're pulling your arms away from your back. In whichever variation of arms you're doing. And inhale back up. Turn the toes in, release the arms. Whew. Toe heel back to Tadasana. Roll those shoulders and come to stillness. Step out once again, take our five pointed star, toes to the left, coming into Virabhadrasana two, but then eagle arms with the back arm underneath. So our shoulders and hips are facing the long side of your neck. Inhale the arms up. And bring the arms behind you, either hands on your sacrum or crossing elbows the opposite way, or hands in prayer position with the palms pointing down, fingers pointing down, or the fingers pointing up on your back. Turn towards your bent leg and straighten it. Inhale tall and stretch over. If you need to keep a little bend in that front leg, it's perfectly okay. Pull your elbows away from your torso.
Inhale up. Turn the toes in. Float the arms down. Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Go back to Tadasana. Good work. You've been working hard today. All right, you ready for eagle? There we go. Bending the knees slightly. Let's lift the left heel. You can stay here or squeeze your legs together or pick your heel up or cross your ankle, be your toes behind your ankle. Inhale your arms up, the knee that's on top, that's the arm that comes down. Other arm comes inside. Hug your shoulders or palms cross and touch. Looking through your arms. Maybe you have your toe on the floor and just pick it up for a second and put it back. Are you breathing nice and slow? Ready? Here we go. Let's fly. Oof. Shake it out. And we'll do the other side, slight bend in the knee, lifting the heel. We're crossing the legs and squeezing them together. Inhale the arms up. Knee that's on top, that's the elbow that comes down first. Other elbow inside, hug shoulders or cross and touch. If you can, you're picking your foot up off the floor or even wrapping your foot around your other ankle. Slow your breath. And fly. And come back to Tadasana. And come on down onto your mats, on your backs. Take a few breaths in Shavasana. Ah, to take in the good work you've done today. Ooh, you have worked hard. We're going to cool down with an inversion. So if you want to set yourself up, either with your legs bent and your shins and calves on a chair, or just sending your legs up into the air, holding onto them, or pressing hips and shoulders into the floor and reaching actively to the sky. Or if you have a prop, you can put a prop right underneath your sacrum, coming into waterfall pose. Or if you have a shoulder stand practice, that would be the practice to go for today. So this is a nice restorative after the work we've done, or even putting your legs against the wall. We'll stay here for a minute or two, so find a pose that you can hold comfortably. Are your legs trembling? Mine are. That's okay. That's fine. Just energy moving through the body. Just breathe slowly. Five counts in. And five counts out.
Ten more seconds. And give yourself a hug, one out of whatever variation you were doing. Let's do a little rock from side to side, giving our lower back a massage on the floor. Let's bring our hands to our knees, glue our legs together, and we'll continue that massage by circling the legs, keeping the knees, knees glued together. And we'll circle the other way. Come back to center, one nice deep hug. And then push the knees away at a right angle and lower your legs to the floor. You can stay here or stretch your legs out straight. Grab your big toes with the nearest hand. Take your top arm, open out, turning away from your legs. Surrender your weight to the floor as you breathe five counts in and five counts out. Keep relaxing exhaling tension away turn your head towards your knees bring your legs in give yourself a hug press your knees away Come into a right angle with your legs, lower them down, stacking one knee on top of the other. We'll straighten your legs, grab your big toes with the nearest hand. Take the other arm and open it out away from your legs. And surrender your weight into the floor, into your breath.
bend your knees, turn your head towards your legs, come back to center. One more deep hug. And then if you need something for Shavasana, grab it. Maybe a blanket or socks or a pillow under your knees, whatever works for you. Allow the toes to roll away. Settle your back into the mat. Walk your shoulder blades down and towards each other. Your palms up a little away from your hips. Stretch the back of your neck long. Relax your jaw. Relax your face.
You can stay here as long as you like. And when you're ready, gently wiggle your fingers and toes, rub your thumb against your fingertips. Roll your head from side to side. Gently move and stretch in whatever way feels good to you. As if waking up for the first time today. And then roll to one side. Bring your hands to the floor in front of you and make your way to a seated position. Thank you for coming to class today. Namaste.